It's time now for the Peer Channel 3 o'clock news for this Wednesday afternoon, evening, March 4th, 2015. Good afternoon and evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins, and I get 3 o'clock news at 9 0 and I touch away at 3 o'clock. Here is Darren Wilson, the white former police officer who was not indicted on state charges in the shooting of an unarmed black man in Ferguson, Missouri. As no charges for Daryl Wilson and Fatal Ferguson police shooting, said the feds. Today, the Supreme Court heard a landmark case that directly impacts the lives of millions of Americans that issues the King vs. Burwell L. Part the tax credit that millions of Americans in approximately three dozen states receive in order to enable them to purchase. Being gay is absolutely a choice, and the prison proves it. A potential presidential candidate, Ben Carson, said Wednesday that because a lot of the people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they came out, they are gay, the former neurosurgeon said. In Boston, a dramatic opening statement, Judy Clark, the lead defense lawyer for Joe Harzanov, quickly, almost suddenly acknowledged what to many has seemed obvious that her client had packed, set off the bombs that ripped at the 2013 Boston Marathon. Players Larry of the Chip Kelly in the wake of LaShawn McCoy trade to the Buffalo Bills. It was a ship that would represent the mighty of the Japanese Navy, one of the largest battleships ever constructed, where the colossal 73,000 tons when it was fully loaded as Microsoft co founder Paul Allen discussed the wreck of Japanese biggest warship. U.S. official hints that the March 30th goal is no longer a framework agreement with Iran, but an understanding on which to base the future talks as corresponds to Netanyahu simply demanded that Iran capitulate it is not a plan. The Alabama Supreme Court on Tuesday ordered that the state's property judge to stop issuing marriage lessons to gay couples say the previous federal ruling that gay marriage bans violate the U.S. A Pakistani man extradited from the U.K. to the U.S. has been convicted for plotting attacks in several countries, Abbott Nasser. Twain was found guilty by a New York jury of providing them by drill support to all Al Qaeda and the conspiracy to use a destructive device. The email practices of Hillary Rodden Clinton, who used a private account exclusively for official business when she was Secretary of State, grew up more intriguing with the disclosure of Wednesday that the computer server she used to trace back to her families. The Senate failed on Wednesday to override President Obama's veto of Keystone Exit Pipeline legislation and for now attempts by Congress to speed up approval of the controversial energy project. Neighbor rain nor snow deafened the U.S. economy from early January to mid-February, according to the Federal Reserve Bank Book and, and Sotodoto Survey of Business Conditions. In New York, a U.S. Senator is requesting the regulators may investigate the lumber liquidators following a report that said the company lemonade for made in China may not meet California's health and safety standards. The Federal Reserve on Wednesday offered a new window on a response to the Great Recession publishing complete transcripts of 11 policy-making meetings held by the Fed officials during 2009. McDonald's said on Wednesday that it would begin using chicken from the birds that are not raised with antibiotics used to humans. Stock market report Dow Jones 180.85.80 down 117.57. SP 529.39 down 9.39. And Nasdaq 49.70.34 down 9.56. John Sullivan, the inventor Kate Cup submits he doesn't use this highly popular product and limits the impact on our environment. Films by the band of Intergalactic Misfits, two terminally ill teenage leopards and a fat battle in a new award couple among the nominees for this year's Emmy TV Movie Awards. Scientists have unearthed the jawbone of what they claim is one of the very first humans, a 2.8 million year old specimen who is 4,000 years old, older than researchers thought that our kind first emerged. According to the new latest study from the University of Buffalo, men love themselves more than women do. In Cambridge, Massachusetts, a new study. Washington, the Food and Drug Administration is warning doctors against overprescribing testosterone, boosting drugs for men, saying that the popular treatments have not been established as safe or effective for common age related issues like low libido. A look at New England and Slurts here at 304 on 22 Mitchell Street in Manchester, New Hampshire. A reported fire in the building here. 
Peter Channel News on 304, 10 and a half hour sports report here. Matt Kessel will barely an upgrade for the Buffalo Bills. Tampa, it was five or five days ago that Alex Rodriguez watched the call third strike from David Price. That's the last pitch of the Yankees' ball and start. Soften the opponent until facing Philadelphia's Kevin Floyd in today's exhibition home opener. Houston, Texas wide receiver Andrew Johnson days are appear to be number with a team after request release due to a scheduled reduction of playing time. Professional pucks will be back on ESPN. The cable TV giant regained a foothold with the NHL on Wednesday when it was awarded to the U.S. Tonight, the Boston Celtics will be at the TD Garden taking on the Utah Jazz. Game time is 7 3 p.m. And the Dalton Lancers will be taking on the Norwell Clippers at 6 30 p.m. in the MIA Division III South Regional Semifinals here at Bridgewater Raymine in Bridgewater. Peter Jell News Time is now 3 05 here on this. Wednesday afternoon here, going into Wednesday evening here, and then take a look at the traffic situation here on this Wednesday afternoon. And it shows the brain tree split on the south front side, slowing both ends, root three on the south front side, slow from the split all the way around the split here. And root three stomach go from brain tree down for Weymouth here on root three on the south front side. South east express from the south front side is backed up from front of the split all the way down for the brain tree split. 93 on the southbound side, slow from South Station all the way up to 203 on the Southeast Express on the southbound side. Northbound Southeast Expressway, slow from 203 down to Morrissey Boulevard here. 93 on the northbound side, it's backed up from Somerville all the way up to Medford here. And we have an accident in here on the Route 1A southbound at the tunnel, so expect some delays here. Remember more drivers more. The slow going down for Cambridge from Boston University Bridge all the way up to Harvard Street, so expect some delays here. We got an accident on 120 on the southbound side around Route 16 in Newton, so expect some delays here. 120 on the southbound side, it's slow around Route 3. 120 on the northbound side is backed up from Fort 225 Lexington all the way down for Route 3 here. Yeah, up in New Hampshire, 3939 from Long Fine along the Granite State. Ball and turn pack little so after you pass Route 4 in Durham, so expect some delays here. And down and down here, 95 on the step on side. Slow from Branch Avenue down for downtown Providence. 610 the connector slow from 95 on down for Route 6 on the west bound side of the 610 the connector here. 146 step a little slow before you approach the 95 here. And downtown Providence and the Born Sagamore Bridge is a more on fine here. Peter Channel News Times now 307 and take a look at the MBTA alerts here. Green Line E branches services resuming between Brigham Circle and Heath Street and Civil on SL5 and SL4 experience and minor delays due to traffic here. And commuter rail here. Kingston Plymouth sir, is now back in service. And Providence Stoughton Line Train 818 110 p.m. from Whitford Junction delayed today due to late turn on equipment here. 10 to 15 minute delay here. Peter Chell News Time, 308, time and a half at 8. Weather report on this late, late Wednesday afternoon, going to Wednesday evening here. For this afternoon, a chance of rain, class guys, but high under 42 degrees. West wind about 7 miles, but chest pressure is about 30%. For that, rain, snow, and sleep, like before, 1 a.m., then snow. Low around 26 degrees. West wind about 3 to 6 miles, but chest pressure is 80%. New snow and sleep, accumulation 1 to 2 inches possible for Thursday. I checked the snow mail before 4 p.m. Clouds got high about 20 degrees. No first move about 7 miles by chest pressure is 50 percent. No snow accumulation less than half an inch possible for Thursday night. Clouds in the early evening and gradual clearing with a low around 6 miles. Wind chill as low as 1 below. No from about 3 to 6 miles by for Friday. Set sky about 25 degrees. No from about 6 miles by coming common in the morning here. Friday night, most of the coast got low about 12 above. For Saturday, most of the sun podcast got about 34 low about 22 degrees. For Sunday, both of the sun sky about 39 degrees. Saturday night, podcast sky low about 22 degrees. Monday, both of the sun podcast sky about 40, low about 24 degrees. And for Tuesday, both of the sun sky is about 42 degrees. Here, not in temperature, sending at 44 degrees with first sky. So that's me for the Peter Chell 3 o'clock news. And it's March 4th, 2015 on Wednesday afternoon. Peter, you have a good day with good vibes. You know, be looking for a see you with an 11 o'clock report. Have a good evening. With a good vibes. Go Raptors!